Hey everyone, Dave here with Fishing 3XT. Today I'm going to be doing some tackle talk. When you're out there at the store looking for a hook to buy, it can be very intimidating not knowing what size hook you should buy or what you should look for when buying a hook. So I'm going to help you guys and get through this mess right here and picking the right size hook for the fish that you're fishing for. So let's get zoomed in here and talk about the hooks that I use and the sizes that I use and fishing for the fish that I fish for, helping you guys catch the fish you fish for. So here's a more in-depth view of the styles and sizes of circle hooks that I use while I'm out there fishing on the water. For sizing reference, I'm using a quarter and the top of a soda can to give you guys an idea how big these hooks are. So these 9 aughts and 10 aughts that I use are going to be roughly the size of the top of a soda can, where these 11s, 12s, and 13 sizes are going to be obviously much larger. Uh, these hooks out here, I do custom gap them sometimes myself so I can get a bigger gap on a smaller hook. Uh, Eagle Claw is a great brand as well as Mustad for bending and customizing your hook to the size and shape that you want and need. Uh, you can also buy these custom already done offset for you so you don't have to do any of it yourself which is great just like this one which I showed in my previous video. Uh, it's already offset, great medium wire, nice hook. Uh, these bigger hooks right here I'll use these when I'm throwing big baits from the boat and I'll offset them if I'm from the boat. If I'm not from a boat, I will just leave them straight shank like that. Uh, very effective for uh, bull reds and sharks. Great hook. Easy to use. When I'm trot line fishing, these are uh, some king cats. They have a big eye. I'll uh, throw a chunk of bait on this one. Let that sit overnight. The big eye is great for uh, throwing on trot line hooks. Stuff or a uh, trot line line. So, great hook for that. Uh, here's another one with a big eye. Here's another big eye. It's a long line hook by Mustad. So that's a really good hook as well to use. Uh, I use this one most often though. Uh, don't use these very much, but I'll probably throw them out here this fall. A great hook for a live bait is this one. This is a Demon Mustad Perfect Circle. It's a, like a 3X strong, and it's a 10 knot. And this is a Mustad 10 knot. So... Like I was telling you, look at the hook before you buy it because the sizes are not probably what you're going to be imagining when you buy them. So be careful when you're buying these hooks out there. Uh, it varies from brand to brand and model to model where this is like an 8 dot Eagle Claw and this is like a 9 or 8 dot or 9 or 10 dot Eagle Claw. So they're roughly the same size, different model, same maker. So be careful when you're buying those hooks. When I'm out there fishing, that's my go-to size. I uh, catch most of my fish on this hook right here. And then the other ones, these up at top. Smaller hooks like these are great. There's a light wire eagle claw. Uh, they're circle C's. Uh, you can use this one great for uh, hot dogs, night crawlers, stuff like that. Very effective hook. I like it a lot. Uh, this hook, not a big fan of uh, for heavy cover and heavy fish fishing. Uh, I like using this from open water like beach type fishing, surf out there. Uh, these hooks have a tendency to snap. They don't bend like some of these other hooks they will bend. So good hook just not for what I do. Uh, here's another one I use a lot on the beach. This is a circle, hot, uh, circle hook. Uh, I used a lot of clam and cut bait on this uh, years back. Caught a lot of sharks, rays, skates, uh, blues, stripers. Great hook. It's almost like a kale. Nice hook to use right there. Um, I, I haven't found it here in the south. It's There's a lot of it up in New England. So these are the hooks. Great. Uh, these over here I don't use as much. Obviously they're a little too big. But I am experimenting with these hooks right here. These three. And, or this one. Um throwing some big baits this was the size hook that I was using out there the other day and missed it on a previous video uh, it'll hook into a large catfish but definitely not a small one so imagine a soda can like that's the top that's the fish's mouth so you know the hooks not gonna go in that's why that's a good hook size the fish can easily swallow that and get that in uh, can with the offset I can hook into a big bait and still hook into a big fish so different ways that I attach the hooks, uh, like here I have a crimped rig using 250 pound mono. 
This is a straight shank right here. I uh, don't care to offset this one. Don't need to. I'll use this from the shore. Surf fishing, bank fishing, whatever. Uh, here's one. This is a Lindgren Pittman. Uh, it's a non-offset model. I just did a crimp. I think this is a 80-pound mono that I crimped to it. I'll uh, toss this one out from the bank one day. This one crimped with a thimble using 250 and a crimp sleeve. So I'm going to give this a try from the bank one day. You know, if I know there's some big fish in the area, we'll see if I can hook into it. But here is the way that I get most of my hooks onto my line. Uh, this is the egg snail. So here it's 250 pound mono I snailed on. So egg snail, great. I showed this before. You can put bait right there if you want. Chicken livers, sponges, egg sacs, all sorts of stuff. You know, fish tail, fish head, something. Um, mostly I use this not to for the reason that it doesn't kink because it's wrapped around the shank and because the way it's tied the line does not rub in this crease where the eye is made you can buy some hooks where they're brazed and you won't ever have that problem but uh most of these hooks are not brazed so this is my go-to knot when I'm tying these hooks uh, so this is the overview hopefully these size references are going to be uh, making a big difference when you're out there fishing Hey everyone, so in this video I showed you a few different ways that I tie the line to the hook and why I tie it the way I tie it. I also showed you different sizes and what to look for when you're buying hooks for the fish that you're fishing for. Hopefully these tips help you out in hooking to more fish while you're out there on the water. So get out there on the water and have fun fishing.